So in this example, guys, first thing we want to do is plot the points. So we have two points, our vertices. So one, two, up to three, and over two, down three. And then also passive point zero, 0,5. One, two, three, four, five. But here's our vertices, and here's our vertices. So it's, again, it's important to understand that our vertices lie on our transverse axis. So our transverse axis, sorry, our transverse axis. Since our transverse axis is vertical, we know that we're going to use the equation where a squared is under the y, correct? We also know that um, between our two vertices is the center. So the midpoint of these two points is going to be our center, which is at 3 comma 0. So right now, at this point, we know that we have y minus 0 squared over a squared, because a squared needs to be under the y because of vertical transverse axis, minus x minus 3 squared over b squared equals 1. 2 comma 0. That is at 2 comma 0. Good catch. Is everybody OK with my equation up to this point? Yes. Now, the problem is I have no idea what a squared is b squared is. But I do actually know what a squared is b squared. It's not on my phone. It's actually not on my phone, I swear. If you're looking at your phone, it's not on your phone. A represents the distance from your center to your vertices. 1, 2, 3, right? Or 1, 2. It doesn't matter which direction. It's the distance. So a is equal to 3. Thankfully, I plotted this. So therefore, I can visually see that. a is equal to 3. Therefore, I can just rewrite this as y squared over 9 minus x minus 2 squared over b squared equals 1. Now the problem is I have a y, an x, and a b right? as unknowns. Well, I need to figure out what b is. I don't have enough information right now to figure out b. But what other piece of information was I given? What is that 0, 5? What does that represent? That represents a coordinate point on your hyperbola. So therefore, we can replace color. Oh, this is the bad blue. Ah, see that? We can replace the y with a 5 and the x with a 0. Now, let's mathematically go ahead and solve for b squared. So 5 squared is 25 over 9. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. Now, this doesn't look, this doesn't look like it's going to be very fun, is it? So let's rewrite our 1 as 9 over 9. I kind of know what to expect, so that's why I'm doing this. And hopefully you guys realize that 9 over 9 is the same thing as 1. The reason why I'm doing that is I know to solve for b squared, I need to subtract a 25 over 9 on both sides. So by rewriting my 1 as a denominator with 9, this is a little bit easier now to subtract. right? Now I did run out of space, so I'm going to do what I told you not to do and do a nice little line over here and say, I'm going to continue my work right there. Do I only have any good markers left? So therefore, I'm left with a negative 4 over b squared equals 9 minus 25 is a negative 16 over 9. Now, you could multiply or think about like the cross product. Either way, you're going to get negative 36 equals a negative 16 b squared. And when you solve for b squared, you're going to get a positive 36 over 16 which simplifies down to a, what, 9 fourths? Now again, guys, to write my equation, I'm just concerned about what b squared is. So I'm going to rewrite the equation over here, because I think I have enough space. So therefore, this is really y, y squared, y squared over 9, we already knew that, minus x minus 2 squared over b squared, which is 9 fourths equals 1. Now, that is correct, but that wouldn't be considered simplifying. Dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So a more simplified version, which you would see on a multiple choice test, would look like this. Or could you just multiply everything by 9 as well? Or you could also write it like that. They're kind of like more simplified as you kind of go down. They're all correct. Just one's kind of a little bit more simplified from there. So if you get a fraction in your denominator, don't freak out. It doesn't mean you did something completely wrong. It's possible to get some fractions. Okay? 